Passengers stuck for hours after wires came down on Amtrak train tracks in New Haven today. And it looks like wind may have been a factor and it caused a major inconvenience for hundreds of commuters. News 8's Jackie Slater is live tonight at Union Station with that story. Jackie. And there were a little more than 180 passengers on board that stranded train, throwing the people that were stuck here for a little while because their trains were delayed as a result of that incident. And while this day of travel didn't go quite as planned for many people. A big rush to get from one train to another. These passengers stuck for hours on the tracks after power lines came down on an Amtrak train headed from Boston to Washington, D.C. Uh, they told us they had a detour coming, the, they were, uh, the wire was out, and we had to uh, jump on another train to be able to get the connection. Just after 11 a.m., a 911 call. First responders saying it appears the wind toppled a tree, taking out the wires that provide power to the train. Live wires leaving burn marks on the nearby fence, halting service and sending firefighters into action. Well, and there was a lot of smoldering, so our firefighters did a really good job of just, you know, keeping people back. We're always taught to respect electricity. We, we don't we don't rush in when electricity is involved. As passengers sit stranded on the train, others are waiting it out at Union Station. This group of students headed to D.C. for a conference, now at least an hour and a half behind schedule. I didn't know when our train was coming, and I guess we still don't, but uh, excited to go on the trip. You know, whatever it happens, you travel, stuff happens. A little before 2 o'clock, people who are stuck get transferred to another train and arrive at the station shortly after. Amtrak officials saying the entire process went smoothly and thankful it wasn't worse. Mother Nature is Mother Nature. Um, like I said, we have crews that are stationed throughout the Northeast Corridor to quickly respond. Passengers now a little travel weary, but many just happy to once again be on their way. And I just spoke with an Amtrak official here at the station. He said they are still experiencing some Amtrak and Acela delays and cancellation. What needs to happen is that disabled train needs to be towed before schedules can return to normal. Reporting live in New Haven, Jackie Slater, News 8.